door for game two tonight. Hi, everybody. I'm James Slabalski for EA Sports. Both teams feeling themselves out in game one. Here we go. They're back at it again. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. There he is from the slot. What a shot. I mean, really good play, but it hits the post, and like everything else in this game, it stays out of the net. Quick feed to Dreisaitl. McDavid's got it on the offensive end. Scores! Crank up the crowd. You get yourself on the board early. McDavid's won it. Moves the puck up to Pedersen. Shot. Denies him with the pad. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. And he slides it quickly to Ronick. Here they come. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Steps inside the line. Shot! Oh, he gets a toe on that one to keep it out. It's one thing to go foul. Scores! That's two times, two times. Now he's having one of those nights, James. The puck just falls on him around. You get a chance to score. You don't miss on nights like this. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Edmonton's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. The Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. The Oilers will play the puck from behind the net. Passes over to Hyman. Takes it to the front. Demko's gonna slow things down and up for the whistle. Well, you gotta kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Crowd's buzzing, ready to get things back underway, and I think the officials are too. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. The Canucks will play it in their own end. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a feed in front. And another pass! Oh, what a chance, but misses! Man, you don't get many chances like this. You work so hard to get into that great position. You've got to at least get it on the net. Puck scooped up by Suter. Shot! And he makes the save! Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Vancouver's got the puck here in the open ice. Friedman stick handling in his own zone. Edmonton's got it now. From the slot, that's three consecutive goals. Yeah, the goalie keeps looking over to the coach and why am I still in here? Three straight for them. Past the halfway mark of this period, Edmonton's really put the squeeze on here now up by three. Puck picked up in the open ice. Here's a shot, just wide. Who gets lots on this shot, but this is the net by a considerable margin. That's a good shot if they move the net over into the corner. Gains the zone along the right wall. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Brown. Taken by Lafferty. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Now he takes it over the line. Takes a shot. Shuts him down. First period nearly in the books here. And it's a quick pass to Dayarnay. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. Nice feed. Knocked away with the stick by Echo. A clean sheet of ice beckons, and period number two set to get underway. It was quite the one-sided tilt in the first 20 minutes. Let's see if that continues here in the second. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? The Oilers haven't had to defend really at all. They've had the puck the whole night, James. They've been in control, and as a result, they have a comfortable lead. Wow.
lots of time left in this period. Edmonton's got a 3-0 lead. They have been in control right from the start. The Canucks win the draw here in the neutral zone. McKay has got it across the line. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. The Oilers play it along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Mikheyev. Vancouver's cut him along the wall. That's blocked. The Oilers slide it through center. Vancouver's got possession at center. Chance from along the wall. Denies him. He got all of it. Edmonton's run a big number up on the scoreboard here. They've controlled this game from the very first moment. Great hit on the play. Nugent Hopkins takes it into the offensive zone. Passes it over to Giuseppe. The Canucks take it along the wall. Hammers it on net. Scores! One thing to score in the regular season. Now you get to where the money's all sitting there. The playoff games are super intense, and he's on the board. Vancouver's given themselves something that everybody in sports longs for. Hope here, Ray. Hope. A chance. Hey, it's here. Something. Time isn't the enemy yet. And that's turned aside by Skinner. And there's the save. God, what a great shift. And this squad has really put the pressure on now. Now it's picked up by the defense. The Canucks take possession in the defensive end. And now it's grabbed by Di Giuseppe. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. They're going to go, Ray. Yeah, but I don't think he wants to go out. Look, he's going to get some help here from his teammate who's going to step in and fight. Oh, what a thunderous end to that one. Yeah, somebody came third in that fight. That was decisive. The Canucks win that fight. They'll get a little juice from it. Not so much for the home side. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. That extra space on the ice is there for you to take advantage of. Be patient. You've got the time. Make the right play. Turn that one aside. Takes the feed. They've got numbers here. Vancouver's looking to break out of their own end. To his teammate, and point blank range denied by the club by Skinner. Flashes the leather, right to the spot on a difficult chance. More than half the frame has been played here. Edmonton's got a 3-1 lead. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Picked up along the wall by Nurse. Moves it over to CeCe. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. The Canucks have it from their own end. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Don't mind the idea, but it doesn't work. Now you got to chase. Moves it to the middle, and he denies that great opportunity there. Skinner is going to pounce on it, and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's going to take it. Getting into the later stages of this period, the Oilers have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. Picked up along the boards by Kulak. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. The Canucks take possession off the face-off. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Joshua. Takes the puck along the boards. Snaps one from the slot. Oh, he just gets a piece of it to keep it out. That's a really good save. I think the goalie's probably surprised he was dead center and open to shoot that puck. Three. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. 
Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? Vancouver's working away and not generating much. That's got to change here in the third period, James. They want to get back in the game. They're going to get pucks to the net. Rebounds that are sitting there, they have to get them instead of having the puck cleared away. Pedersen's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. The Canucks move it ahead. Here they come on the attack. And he comes up with a huge stop. Moves it to Pedersen. Moves it to the middle. A blast. Oh, and it stays out with the pro save. Skinner's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other. It's made for a good night. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The Oilers are up 3-1. Quick pass to Ronick. And that's blocked in traffic. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. On the attack along the boards. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Vancouver's in transition. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Across the line, down the left wall. Vancouver's got control of the puck. The Canucks take it along the wall. And that's knocked away. Close save. Miller's value was on the ice here, playing hockey, generating chances. He got frustrated and got into that fight earlier. He's not helping his team at all there. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. It's a 3-1 hockey game. Lots of offense already. Here's a short pass to Miller. Edmonton's got the puck. Looks to make a play over to Kane. Hangs onto the puck. Pass broken up. And that's broken up. And he keeps possession. Let's it fly. Oh, what a stop by Demko. Makes a save. Gets a piece of it with the glove. Sends the pass over. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Glove save. Skinner's going to slow things down and opts for the whistle. He's had a really good night. He's been on top of his game, and there's not been much that's given him trouble. Past the midway mark of the frame. Crowd's been into this one right from the get-go. It's 3-1. And he slides it quickly to Cole. Pinned up along the boards. Can't get a hold of that pass. And now he angles it across to Fogel. The Canucks look to start the transition game. And now it's over to Suter. He got all on that one. Puck picked up by Garland. Back at the point, they set it up. There's a chance in front! And that's stopped! Taken along the wall by Joshua. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. The Oilers cross the line and gain the zone. Quick feed to Fogel. And that carries off a body in traffic. Fires it on net. Easily turned aside by Skinner. Edmonton's moving it up the ice. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. Vancouver's trailing. That's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. They put the puck into the offensive end. Wow. Into the empty net. How many of these do you have again? Not very many. I mean, you're out there to defend the lead. You're not out there to score, but this is just a nice little perk. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Oilers now lead by three. Pedersen's won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. Great use of the stick at center by Dreisaitl. The Canucks have it against the wall. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. Moves it quickly over to McDavid. And now he moves it quickly to Dreisaitl.
officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. The Canucks win in the defensive zone. And that's all she wrote from this one here tonight. Now down 2-0. Time to hit the panic button in your mind yet? Oh, you're getting there. 